<coughs> Excuse me. Today I'm going to do a Photoshop tutorial uh, for Windows using the Epson 8500, which could also be the 8550, which is the bigger format printer. Um, I have both of them, but one of them doesn't have the sublimation ink. Um, so let's get to work. We're first going to go to File, New, and I'm going to make it 8.5 by 11. You can change it to whatever you want. It's portrait, 300, should be DPI, RGB color, 8-bit. Background, you can choose whatever color you want. I like to keep it at transparent. The color profile, this sRGB IEC 61966621, is what you're using to create um, a graphic or a document. I always keep it at that. Um, there are other ones, but I like to keep it at this one. So we're going to hit Create. And here's my workspace. I'm going to go to File, Open. I'm going to use this picture. Okay, and you can, of course, change the size if you want. Um, next, we're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Print. Now these are the settings you're going to want. Um, here is the 8500. I guess I'm not printing it so I could use the other one. Here's the 8550. I'm going to go to my print settings first. And what I'm going to do is my paper source. You can choose that, your cassette or auto. I'm using letter. Never pick borderless because you'll lose some of your quality. I've learned if you use the PPP mat, premium presentation paper mat, you'll get the best color. Uh, I am using Epson and A sub. Keep your quality at standard if you're using the PPP mat. Keep that at standard. I do a print preview. Um, that's because I like to see if I've made a mistake. You don't have to use it. I just like to see mistakes often. Next, we're going to go to More Options. <clears throat> You're going to take it off by directional. Keep it on Mirror Image. Um, here's your document size, whatever it is. Same as document. <sighs> Color correction. Don't use automatic. Go to custom, advanced, and because you're using Photoshop, we'll, which will adjust the color, no color adjustment, and hit OK. Now we've got everything here in the printer and hit OK. That was for print settings. We are not going to use the printer manages color. We are going to use Adobe. So you're going to change that to Photoshop Manages Color. Now in the printer profiles, you should have a great deal of settings uh, when you loaded the, the uh, Epson drivers. And here are the ones for the 8550. And I pick the series matte. Normal printing, relative color metric. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm doing a photograph. Black point compensation. You keep that because you're doing a photograph and you want nice blacks. And here's where you can um, play around with your settings for the printing. I don't do anything with any of these. And I hit done. Actually, I don't hit done. If I, I'm going to hit done, but you would hit print because I've already printed this several times. So hopefully this will work for you. And I'm going to hit 
Thank you.